Hi everybody, Charles here. Welcome to Bank Roads Living. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd ask that you do that right now. And that way you won't forget to do it as you get on into the video. Ring that bell icon when it comes up and you'll be notified of our videos as we upload them in the future. And give us a thumbs up, like the video. YouTube places us in better search features when you do that. YouTube likes it when you interact with our channel, and we do too. So thank you ahead of time for doing those things for us. Oh yes, if you haven't become a member of our YouTube channel, you might want to do that. There's a join button right under the uh, header on the on the uh, channel here, and just click the join button, and there's three uh, different levels to choose from. Just choose the one you like and join right up and become a member of uh, our channel. That's a way that you can help support our channel if you choose to do that. Uh, if you choose to do it any other way, you can find those ways in the description box below. So again, thank you ahead of time. We appreciate you very much. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about pickle juice. And this is not some kind of fictional character or uh, some of those crazy TV uh, commercials or, or uh, what do they call those uh, cartoons? Yeah, crazy cartoons. This is not a a pickle thing for the cartoons. This is actual pickle juice, and uh, some of the some of the things about pickle juice. I'm going to list about twelve ways here today that that you can reuse pickle juice. And now some I've heard of, and some I haven't. You know, uh, for years when we would get through with a, a jar of pickles, we'd go in to the fridge and and I'd get out a jar of pickles and get the last pickle out and. I don't know why. I always just set the jar back in the refrigerator forever and it'd sit there and sit there and sit there and then I'd get it out and pour it down the sink. Well, uh, at some point, I don't know when it was, but uh, the first thing that I'm going to mention that you can do with pickle juice that you might actually enjoy is drink it. So at some point, I started uh, drinking pickle juice right out of the jar, out of the refrigerator, and I liked it, and I still do. I still, uh, when we have a, a jar of pickles and we empty the the pickles out of it i enjoy some pickle juice and uh, i found that uh, that it's very tasty very tasty for you uh, the second thing that uh, that i heard about pickle juice now i've not had to drink any of it for it but i've heard of other people talking about it and uh, they say that it actually helps you know i've heard people say that uh, when they started having muscle cramps and leg cramps and stuff like that, that uh, the parents or the grandma would tell them to go in and get them a big swig of pickle juice. And uh, they swear by it. I, I know people that have done that, and they just they swear that pickle juice uh, has helped their leg cramps. So, you know, I'm, I'm not a medical advisor. I'm not telling you this will work or that you need to do that. I'm just telling you what I've heard over the years. And again, I've never had to use it for cramps, so I don't actually know personally but again that is something i have heard and uh, if i do have leg cramps i can tell you right now if i've got pickle juice in the fridge i'm gonna go get me a big swig of pickle juice uh because like i say there's been many people that swore by that saying that it would uh work wonders for you another thing you can do with pickle juice uh, the third thing on the list is uh you can make more pickled uh, items with it instead of just pouring it out uh, take it out there and get you some cucumbers and slice them up real thin and uh, drop them right down in your pickle juice. Uh, put your lid on and let it sit for a week and you should have some, some more pickles. They'd be real tasty like that. And not only that, but you could do that with like beans or artichokes or, um, you know, heck, get you some hard boiled eggs and drop down in there and pickle you some hard boiled eggs and try them and see how they work. Um, Again, I've not tried these things, but I've been told, uh, from and from what I've read and researched on this some, that uh, leftover pickle juice from the refrigerator like that works wonders for those things. To uh, reuse that juice and re-pickle things with them, uh, even, even as far as uh, hard-boiled pickled eggs. So uh, those are some things I'm going to try in the future. Like I said, um, when we get some more pickles in here and I get the last uh, pickle out of it, I'm going to try some of these things and uh, see just how well they work. And if you've tried them, be sure and leave us a comment in the comment section below and let us know if you've enjoyed it or if you know how you reuse pickle juice if you do. So we're going to, we're going to give you some more things here. 
One of the things that I've read about pickle juice, and I was really impressed about the variety of things that you can do with pickle juice. I would have never, ever thought of doing any or, you know, most of these things. Um, it would have just never, ever crossed my mind to do these things with pickle juice. Uh, but now that I've read this and, and researched this a little bit, I'm going to start saving pickle juice and I'm going to start using pickle juice and trying it in a lot of things. One of the things that it mentioned was that uh, the vinegar in, in pickle juice, it's called pickle brine, what's left over in your jars, but uh, most people call it pickle juice, the brine. It helps to tenderize meats and I was unaware of that, but it will actually help tenderize chicken, pork, uh, beef, Try that uh, sometime. Let your uh, chicken marinate in some pickle brine overnight. And uh, the article I read on that, buddy, they said it's the best tasting chicken you've ever ate and as tender as any meat you'll ever put in your mouth. So that's a, a something to think about, fried chicken. <laughs> Who don't like fried chicken, you know, especially uh, with the crispy, crumbly outer layer on it. You know, that's, that's just some good stuff. But uh, yeah, yeah. As a marinade, how about that? Pickle brine as a as a uh, as a marinade to marinate your chicken and your beef and and your pork and things like that in, and uh, they just they just claim it makes it the tastiest, tenderest dish that you've ever ate. So that's another thing that uh, we're going to be trying here at Backroads Living is marinating some meat in uh, pickle juice and pickle brine and and seeing how that works out for us. Another thing, a lot of people make their own salad dressings and uh, when they make their own salad dressings uh, they use uh, usually use vinegar in that i, I realize that uh, olive oil vinegar and things like that and one of the things they recommended in this article was that uh, when you're making your salad dressings from scratch uh, it says to uh, to use pickle juice instead of vinegar and that that will give it a somewhat of a kick kind of a you know a a, a tartar a taste to it, I guess, maybe, but uh, they claim that the pickle juice will actually make the, the salad dressing that you make homemade dressing. If you'll, if you'll uh, replace your vinegar with pickle brine, brine, B-R-I-N-E, that it will taste better than it will with vinegar. And I guess, you know, that's just a matter of taste for people, but I'm sure that uh, if you run out of vinegar and you've got a jar of pickle juice in the fridge and you want to make you some uh, salad dressing, there's your vinegar. Use the pickle juice instead. And uh, they say it's a real treat. But we'll find out here one of these days at Back Road Living. And if you've tried that, let us know. Or if you're going to try it, let us know. Uh, it, it sounds like it would be really good to, to do that. Another thing they mentioned was uh, boiled potatoes. Now, that's one of the blandest things when they come out of the pot that you've ever ate. You have to season salt, pepper, butter. Uh, you have to do a lot of stuff to a potato when it comes out of a boiling pot of water to make it fit to eat. It, you just do. They're just they're just one of the blandest things you've ever ate right out of a pot. And uh, this article said that if you'll uh, pour you a big glug of pickle juice in that water while it's boiling, let the potatoes boil in the pickle juice and water combined, that they will be delicious when they come out of the pot that uh, there's not a whole lot you have to do to them. Just to take them out of the pot and, and eat them, and you'll really like them. They'll, they'll all be eaten up, and none will be left, is what they said. You'll be very uh, pleasantly surprised, and I don't know. <laughs> I'm just These are some things that just really have, uh, have just really surprised me. And, but I'm going to try some of these things. Boiled potatoes. Put your regular water in it and add your big gulp of uh, of uh, pickle juice to it, and let it boil in that. And and they claim that it that it's just delicious. That there'll be no leftovers when you serve your potatoes. And the other thing, since potatoes are so good uh, in the uh, boiled in the pickle brine, that uh, it's no surprise that they said uh, potato salad would be just as good. Uh, while you're boiling your potatoes in pickle brine, it says use them to make uh, potato salad. Add another splash of uh, splash of uh, pickle juice to the mayo, 
and you've got potato salad that's just out of this world. It beats ordinary potato salad hands down, they claim. So, you know, just a splash of uh, pickle juice to your mayo when you're make, putting your uh, potato salad together and they just claim it's the grandest thing you've ever ate. That you'll never, you know, you'll never eat another potato salad made without it if you can keep from it. But uh, yeah, these are things I'm gonna try. And if you've tried them, I'd like to know if, if you if you've cooked with it or if you've done anything like that with uh, with pickle brine or uh, you know the pickle juice. Uh, drop a comment. And let us know what you've done with it and how you've used it. I'm very curious about about this and how it works. Uh, now there's a lot of people that uses. Uh, pickle juice and mixed drinks and things like that and i'm not going to get into that uh you can research that on your own but another thing that they use pickle juice for is uh is like lemon uh when when you squeeze lemon on your seafood a lot of people like to uh have a squirt of a uh, lemon on their seafood i love lemon on on fried fish or baked fish either one i like uh, i like lemon juice on it and I like tartar sauce with them also. But now they claim that, uh, this article claims that if you like lemon on your seafood, replace it with a splash of pickle juice. Now don't pour it on it. They said just a splash, kind of like what you get on your fingers and just splash it on it like that. Um, just, just lightly. And uh, they said that a very light splashing of pickle juice like that is excellent on seafood. It just changes the flavor and, and uh, just amazing how good it is. So, you know, that's another thing. Sandy and I fix fish here from time to time. And uh, when we do, if I've got uh, lemon juice around or a lemon, then I'll put some lemon juice on it and a little bit of tartar sauce. But, uh, but the next time I've got pickle juice around, I'm going to give that pickle juice uh I'm going to give that pickle juice a try on a lot of stuff. We're going to see how well it really works. And we may have to do a follow-up video to, to see how well it worked and how well, or how well it didn't work. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, if you've not tried it and you want to try it and let us know, be sure to do that. We're always uh, all ears and open to any suggestions. Another thing uh, is steamed vegetables. They said, uh, this article said, if you, if you like steamed vegetables, then uh, the next time you steam your your greens, to do it just like you did the fish, just give it a splash, just a little splash of pickle brine, pickle juice on those uh, steamed greens and the steamed vegetables, and it'll just change the taste all the way around. Make such a good meal, uh, and and it all, you know it all sounds wonderful, and I'm gonna have to try it. That's just all there is to it, and I hope some of you, I hope I've made you curious enough, curious enough to where you'll try it too. Uh, because it just sounds, it sounds really good to me. Another thing is, uh, that was mentioned in that was deviled eggs. Now, it says that uh, if you want to knock your deviled eggs out of the park, that's where they put it. Knock your deviled eggs out of the park. It says the next time you make deviled eggs, you know, you scoop your, uh, inside of the egg out and you mix it with your, whatever you put in it. Everybody does their different. I know that we like to use a little mayonnaise and a little mustard and a little bit of pickle relish and a little bit of, if we've got a little bit of, of bacon fried up and crumble it up, just whatever you've got, you know, people, some people don't use much of nothing, but just the, the mayonnaise or mustard or whatever. But they say, when you mix up your, uh, your ingredients, it says, add just a little splash of, uh, pickle juice to it. And it makes the deviled eggs so much better. So who would have thought it? You know, I would have never dreamed that pickle juice could be used in so many different ways and with so much stuff. It just, it beats all I've ever seen. Uh, I think I listed 12 items on my website that uh, that you could use pickle juice in. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I've got a couple more mentioned here that, uh, uh, that I've got on there. And we'll give you a link to this so you can print it off on our website, okay? These 12 items, you can actually print them off. And uh, the other thing was meatloaf. You know, I mentioned up there a while ago that you could marinate your uh, meats in pickle juice and, and uh, make them more tender and, and taste better. And, and they said here that uh, meatloaf one of those uh, uh, dishes that if you put a little bit of uh, pickle brine in your mix for your meatloaf, a little bit of pickle juice, 
but man, it makes it so much more tender and, and uh, uh, moist and so much more tasty than uh, what it is without it. So that's something to have to try because I like my meatloaf the way it is right now when we make it, but heck, if it makes it better, I'm all for it. So I'm gonna try it in the meatloaf too next time we make it if we've got pickle juice here. I may just have to go buy a jar of pickles and start eating them just to get the juice, guys. I don't know, this is sounding pretty good. And soups, you know, a lot of people will fix stuff like uh, chicken noodle soup and different kind of noodle soups. And, and they can be a little bit bland sometimes. And uh, that's another thing. They said if you'll throw you a little bit of pickle juice in there while you're cooking your soup, that uh, it gives it a whole new taste, a whole new flavor, makes it taste so much better. So, you know, that's another thing. Uh, there's a lot of other ways to use pickle juice that I read on this, this article. And I'll link this article, this uh, uh, article on our website. So you can go uh, over to our website there and print it off. We have a print feature on there. But again, thank you all for watching. If you enjoy our videos and you forgot to subscribe at the beginning, uh, right now would be a good time to do that. Hit that bell icon when it appears. It gives a, a, a like. And uh, just, guys... You know, there's a lot of things going on in the world today, and, and uh, no matter who we are or what we're doing or what's going on, we all need Jesus. And uh, I would encourage each and every one of us that don't know the Lord Jesus Christ to look Him and look to Him and uh, seek Him while you, you still can find Him. Uh, learn to lean on Him, for His ways are wonderful and true. And with that being said, we're going to tell you to just keep on prepping, keep on praying, and we'll see you all in the next video. God bless you all.